Hello, hello. This might be a welcome back to the vlog. My name's Lauren, I live in Beijing. Or this could be just an extension of what we did the other day. And I'm not really sure which one this is. Anyway, today is turning into a much bigger day than we originally planned. First of all, we're like, what do we want to do? We're going to come to Tiger's, which could be the same Tiger's pancake that we were looking for. Uh, that was like a location that was closed, we couldn't find it. But then I found this place, Tiger's. Not Tiger's pancake, just Tiger's. <laughs> Look how cute. They do indeed have pancakes. It looks like a very good breakfast option and I'm very excited. The second thing is that I've been following up with this <laughs> wedding photography company for quite a while now. And here in China, pre-wedding photography is like a huge industry. And we met up with a friend of mine, Iris, in Shanghai a couple weeks ago. And she was like, you guys have been engaged forever. Where is your like wedding photos? And I was like, oh, we haven't, we aren't actually married yet. And she was like, oh, you have to do this now. Like, you need to do this. And I was like, you are right, we do. So I've been following up on and off with this guy from this company that I randomly found on Dianping, but I think might be a good photography company, deciding how many pictures we want, how, where the location is, what we want to do. And today, we're like, I was like, let's meet up at the, their office downtown, finalize the different ideas, and hopefully get wedding photos like this week. It's all happening very quickly, and it's very exciting. Nice. This looks delicious. If you know us, you know our obsession with breakfast foods. And this looks good. Hello. This is a very pretty parkway along here. We're heading to the big park that's close by. But look, they have all the flowers. It feels so nice. You should put the thing on the, on yeah. the desk facing us. We're here doing a, uh, our meeting and we get a photo print that's this big with our, the pictures that we're getting taken. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so not only do we get this big um, like hard frame photo, but we also get this to display at our wedding. Look at it, look how big it is. I'm pumped. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Put it in our room? Bob can have it after. Well, it, it, the thing about this one is it is gonna like roll up nice and small to like put in a suitcase, like take home with us. Whereas like this big one, like, I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Anyways, it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, he just kind of like um, folded it up. And we're going to this location because this is specifically the door that I want. The whole location's beautiful though. There was like a really nice water one yeah. section and stuff as well. We're going there. So we're here at our official meeting. We're signing our official contract to get wedding photos. We are not officially getting married. We're just officially getting the photos. We also get these two big photo books over here. We get like a big photo album and a small photo album. We should take a closer look at those. That was cute. And we're um, trying to arrange with work as well as like confirming with them that we can do this uh, and schedule it. And we're going to do it on Thursday of this week. So like literally in Friday, in Friday of this week. So it's literally- You already forgot when we're doing our blood Well, <laughs> I'm off Thursday, Friday, so I don't care. Either way, we'll be there. We got it. We got it. It's gonna work out. Even though we're not actually getting married. We just, we're in China, so the options are limited. We There's only so much we can do, we which is to say we cannot. Yeah, we tried. I was looking for different options. We, we kind of really wanted to get married in China because, you know, it's where we spent the first, like, two years of our relationship pretty much. And now more. And now more. So, you know, it's a special place for us. But mm. uh, unfortunately, since 2019, um, 
unless there's a Chinese national involved. You can't get married. Foreigners can't get married. Foreigners can't get married here. So we have to wait to officially get married until we're home sometime or maybe somewhere else. Who knows? Yeah. But we can just be married. For now, we're just going to tell people that we're married and we, therefore we are, even though we're not legally. To everyone with the government, we are. Yes, exactly. Which, basically, we already do that anyways. So, yeah, I, why not have the official photos to prove it? I usually call Lauren my wife at work when I'm talking with the locals because it's just easier to say wife than it is yeah. to say fiancé. I always mess up the word for fiancé. I don't even know it. I just call you my boyfriend, but it'd be easier. Okay. Cardboard. Like oh. Thin. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is really nice. Yeah, this is great. So we choose all these pictures to put into a book. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. We're getting the full the full meal deal here. The book, so the photos small, for the walls. Book. Oh my god. So this, so this, so this oh, yeah. is exactly what's going to be included in our book. Mm -hmm. And then um, ah. this, like basically this background is like what we've also chosen. And I hope that I find a dress that's as pretty as this, but... I'm really not sure about what the dress selections are we'll going to be like, something. but yeah, we have this one. Oh, the contract is here. That's cute. And then this. Oh, and then this as well, because this is the other background. Here, wait. This me. is the other background that we've chosen, yeah. or not, not that quite, exactly, but kind but of like similar. this. Kind yeah. of like this. Okay, so we just finished our meeting at the Vanilla Photo Studio, and I'm very glad that we went in and talked with them and saw the whole setup. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, this is our ticket to the world, and we have to bring this with us. It's like our receipt when we do the day of shooting. And like immediately after we finalized what we're doing, we got added to a group chat with, I guess, all of the key people that are going to be like organizing the photo shoot. So my understanding is that we go on the day to the uh, not the office where we were today, but the studio location where they have all of the little setups. And then we will order a DD and we'll go to the outdoor location which we chose, which is like this beautiful traditional like wedding venue location. Um, and I think this most stressful part that I'm like thinking about on the day is just the very first thing in the morning when you have to choose the dresses. Like you gotta choose, like that's, cause that's like the biggest part of like, if you're gonna like, what it is, is if the dresses you choose are like nice, you know? Well, and I feel like the most important one is the one for... Oh, wait. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the most important one yeah. is the first, is the on location one. Cause like if something really goes wrong with the other ones and you're like, oh, now that I'm like standing, moving around, this isn't good. Can we like switch to another one? You're in the studio, you know what I mean? So like okay. maybe it's possible. But also I think the studio one is happening first. So we're doing the two studio ones at the beginning of the day and then we're doing the location one, I think at the end of the day. Yeah. I think. I mean, entirely possible. But like my, I, my point is like, I feel like that's the like, that's the one you gotta nail. Yes. Cause the, the other one, the other ones are like, you know, if, if it's not happening, we can be like, please, can we sweep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyways, food's here. But, and it's happening like next week, so it's just. Let's get it. We're just doing it. We're just doing we're it. We're just doing it. So now we're here, because uh, we're in, we were in this area of town. So we've come to the Blue Frog that's here at the Guomao building. Check out the view. <laughs> I said, is this Din Tai Fung? Yes, of course it is. And this place is poutine. Only it's not poutine, is it? They don't serve poutine here. No, they do not serve poutine. Oh, they have a Michelin star. Wow. They're, they're like... One Michelin star. That's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, but they're like original location and now it's a chain. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Thank goodness I got recommendation from a friend of mine for a place to come and get my ring cleaned. I've been looking for this like everywhere. I looked when we were in Abu Dhabi. I've like been looking here just like casually because like you just never know like where you can go. I feel like Usually you would go back to the jeweler where you got your ring to get it cleaned But obviously for me that's in Toronto and now with our photo shoot coming up at the end of this week I want to get my ring looking clean and sparkly for the photo shoot So I'm so glad that I got this recommendation 
because now he's cleaning it. <gasps> I should have taken a before and after. Look how sparkly. Oh my gosh, and it's even more sparkly in real life. Okay, I'm gonna wear this home and then I'm gonna put it in the box and then I'm not gonna touch it until the photo shoot. Wow! Next stop is getting Alex's watch battery replaced. I thought I'm going out, I'm finding these places, I'll do it all in one day. I thought the first place would have also done watch batteries, but he said around the corner, this is actually where I was like 30 minutes ago when I was looking for the store that was the ring cleaning store. And I asked him where to go and he was like around the other side. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I first got to the ring cleaning store, it was closed and it was like all locked up. So then the lady beside it was um, a hair salon. I asked her and she added me on WeChat, added that guy on WeChat was like, so I could message him and be like, where are you? When does your store open? And then two minutes later after I'd walked away, she messaged me and she's like, he's here, come back. And so I like ran back and then they cleaned my ring for me. It just gets like, um kind of like a more cloudy looking because of the space underneath. So when when that gets a little bit dirty in there, then it doesn't look as shiny and it doesn't it looks a bit cloudy, but this looks so nice. Yay. Stopping in this store to get a jambing. It's a, she was asking me like what kind and I couldn't read the menu and I was like, I don't know. And then we decided on egg. I was like, I'll do the egg. I know that word, egg it is. Um, and then I'm gonna go this way and get maybe a little cocoa drink and then do a little wander around the mall. I'm like kind of nervous about like the photo shoot later this week. I'm glad that we're doing it like really quickly so that I don't have that much time to think about it. Not that there's like any reason to be nervous or anything. I'm just like, just like all the things. I'm like, okay, should I try and dye my hair at home before I go? Probably. Got the ring, that's good. I wanna buy just like a couple like extra little things. Like Alex needs to buy like a white shirt. I'm like, should I get my nails like done? I don't think I'm gonna get them done, but I do think I'm gonna paint them the night before. But also, I definitely don't wanna like cut them now, so I'm like, okay, must keep them nice for the next week. Um, I had a scary dream last night that I got a cold sore because that would just ruin everything. Like we would have to we would have to cancel and reschedule if that happened. But I'm like, it's not gonna happen. There's no way that's gonna happen. I have so much free time to like just like sleep and feel good, and like I'm not that busy. I do have plans on Monday night and tomorrow night and well, just like social, like just like seeing people. Um, so I'm not busy. I just feel like I'm busy, but I'm not actually busy at all. And like next week, I'm gonna, um, we kind of have like two rotating schedules at work. One that's like a, a busy week because you have more shifts and one that's like a less busy week. And this week was my less busy week, which is why I have so much more free time this week versus the following week will be not which is still, it's still not busy. It's just the busier schedule. It like literally means nothing. Anyways, I'm having a nice relaxing day today doing some shopping. I just ordered a very random cocoa drink. The cocoa drink that I ordered yesterday was not on the menu today. So I think it's like a new, like a new drink. So I just picked a different one that was also pink and I'm gonna try it out. And I'm also excited to try the jam bing that I got because it looks quite different, honestly. Um, to what I'm used to, so I am interested to see what it is. Mm. It's good. Sometimes the little jelly bits at the bottom kind of like surprise you. 